Hello, hello. So in this video, I will show you how to set up and install our Discord ears bot. All right. Um, so as you can see on the video, uh, the Discord ears bot takes audio input from Discord, right? And it runs it through a system. It transcribes whatever you said into text and, you know, it's been, um, it's been shown as the output. All right. So you will, you will, it, as you read this, right? Some things can be funny because it's not really accurate, right? It's a machine. Um, it's a machine system, right? Um, that's been trained on data to transcribe, you know, audio to text. It's, it's not very accurate, but it does a pretty decent job and it's free, right? If you require something like this, uh, with a higher accuracy, you can look at a solution by Google, for instance, the Google Speech API, which has a much higher accuracy compared to the free solutions, right? Um, but this, this solution that we present uh, is an improvement over our previous ones that, that we had in the past, which relied on a solution by Facebook, which was also free. Uh, but this one is much quicker, right? It has a much lower latency than the other ones, right? Because this one actually runs on your computer. And so no data is actually being sent to uh, third party providers like Google or Facebook or, you know, or, or, or the other ones. Okay. Um, so this is what you'll get. I'm going to mute myself. So basically <clears throat> we have two bots. This is the Discord ears bot, which just does this right it, it takes it listens to all the users on your uh discord server right and whatever they say uh it transcribes it into text so each user is a separate channel each user uh i mean the, the output for each user is it's a dedicated channel right so if everything that i say goes in here if we have five other people it will you know uh listen to everyone separately right it's not a mixed it's not a mixed channel that the bot hears which is really great uh okay um so to set it up right it's it's a free solution right setting it up is really simple right and uh i assume well let's assume this is a non-developer tutorial right this is um just for everyone who doesn't want to mess with code right uh, so first of all, one thing that you have to do is I'll put all the links in the description, right? So one, the, the first thing that you have to do is go on our GitHub, right? And um, this is our Discord ears bot. We also have uh, a Discord speech bot, which is uh, the music bot version, where you can actually use commands like music play and then the name of an artist or or something or say that so something like a music play random and it will play random songs. Uh, similar to the other music bots out there, except you can control this one with voice commands, right? So you can say like skip or play or save to favorites, uh, stuff like that, which is really cool, right? Uh, but th th this solution is actually used by uh, a lot of people who have uh, deaf or hearing impaired friends on their Discord server, right? And they still want to communicate. Um, I mean, one group wants to communicate through, through voice and the other group can kind of follow the, the conversation, right? So these kind of bots are a lifesaver in terms of communication for those kind of people, right? So so to, to set it up, it's, it's really quickly, right? First thing that you have to do is go on GitHub and click on fork, right? But because this is my repository, I can't fork it. But, you know, in, in your case, you can click fork and then you can click OK. And then uh, it creates a copy or, a, you know, uh, a duplicate of my repository, right? uh on your github account right so you can access access it um that's all that you have to do here next thing is um hosting so we have to host uh the bot um because you can't really invite it like other bots right uh it's an open source solution um you, you have to manage and host it yourself right we don't have like a uh, a one link to, to send it out that's not what we do right now maybe in the in the near future we'll we'll make that accessible right but for now um you can either host it yourself on your windows on your linux machine right or you can use a free service like heroku right so if you go to heroku.com you can create a free account right it's all free just create an account and then you get uh then you get access to their dashboard right and here you can create a new app right so just click click create, create a new app give it a name I don't know, maybe uh, hello YouTube, All right? Let's use this name. Uh, I'll set it to Europe since I'm currently in Europe. We can click create app, right? 
Um, okay, so great. Well, next thing that we have to do is choose a deployment method, right? You have to uh, click GitHub. And in my case, it's already synchronized with my GitHub, but in your case, you might have to click a few buttons to, to authorize access to your GitHub, right? So now I can uh, type my repository name, which is the Discord ears bot, right? Or I can just type Discord ears, click on search, and it will find this one, right? And in your case, it will find one as well with your name as the prefix, right? Because you made a fork, right? The first step was to make a fork. Um, so once you have this, you can click connect, right? Perfect. Okay. Um, next thing that we have to do is, um, okay, we can, yeah, I mean, it's okay. You can, you can already click deploy branch. Okay. So th this is one thing that we have to do, right? You click deploy. Um, next up, we have to go to resources. Okay. Um, there are, hold on. Is it resources? It shouldn't be resources. Uh, or access. Oop. I think we have to wait until it has been deployed before we get more, um, more stuff here. Okay. Let's, uh, let's give it a second to deploy. All right. Um, so next up is you have to create a Discord bot okay so next up go to discord.com slash developers right and you have to sign up uh, or log in right but it's it's really simple and here you can create your new app to create new application we call it hello youtube right and okay you can set the picture you can set the name uh <clears throat> but we have to go to bots in the left menu we have to click add a bot right yes here we have the name of our bots we can add a picture. Um, okay. One thing that we need to do now is uh, copy our token. So this is the uh, the key with which our bot can connect to your Discord uh, server, right? So you click copy. It's been copied. Now you have to go back to Heroku, right? You go to settings, the settings tab, right? And then you have config vars, right? You click reveal. Okay. Now you have to provide Discord underscore clock right and you paste the value that we copied um here of that uh, access um of the uh, of the token right the access token you put it in here make sure there are no spaces or any other stuff and this has to be 100 percent accurate uh, and discord talk right this value you can find if you want to copy it you can find it here uh, so under settings you have discord underscore talk this this is the one that you need right so you set this one up um and now you can click add okay and that's it that's it right um i think we can go back to resources right it's still not here um let me let me check maybe there's an error starting okay resources okay so now i can go back to resources right um it has been configured so one thing that we have to do in, under resources is we have to disable uh, the web npm start disable it right click confirm and we have to enable the worker okay so again here enable confirm right this will uh, restart the bot once again once you have done this you can click on more you can click on view logs right this is the output of the bot right um okay so it says logged in as youtube but then states change to that okay so here we go uh logged in as hello youtube again so uh, the bot is logged in right uh, but the bot isn't part of our server and we don't really have a server right now um so one thing that we have to do is you can either create a server right but i already have like a test server that i use so we can actually invite our bot in here right so let me actually kick this one that we had right and let me invite the one uh, that we just created so we go back to discord.com slash developers and it's here under uh, bot permissions uh, no I, th I think you have to go to o out, o out right so you click on o out and then uh, we select the bot, right? Now we have to give it, uh, we have to give the bot permissions, right? So the bot has permissions to uh, connect to voice, right? Um, okay. It needs to send messages, right? And I think, I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that those are the only two permissions that we have to give it. Okay. Uh, if you're not sure or if you have more sophisticated needs, right? Um, you can just click administrator, right? And it'll give it all permissions. Since you manage the bots, I mean, there's no security issue here. Um, let me 
Check mention every read message. Yeah, I, th I think this should be enough, right? So if you have these two, right? Next thing that we have to do is copy this link, right? You can just click copy. You have to paste it in your browser. Uh, a page will open up, which will ask, um, where do you want Hello YouTube, the bot to be added, right? And I select my test server, right? Okay, click continue, uh, authorize, right? I'm not a human or I am a human. Uh, authorize, okay, perfect. I'm gonna close this one. And if I look now on the members list, I can see how YouTube has appeared, right? So I can actually uh, make the bot join me in the general chat, uh, in the general voice channel, right? Click uh, type join, connected, right? It's connected. Let me unmute myself and let me try to say something, okay? This is a test, hello YouTube. Okay, okay, so it did something, right? It's it's not 100% accurate, right? Uh, but it's quite responsive. Okay, so let, let me quickly mute myself and explain to you how this works, right? So basically, um, when whenever my, uh, you know, my, my, my picture here in the voice channel highlights green, right? Uh, when I go green like this, it means that the bot is listening to me, or I mean, uh, my audio is being recorded, right? And once it's the, 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 the green circle, you know, goes away, uh, my audio is being sent to the bot, right? This is done by the Discord API. So this is done by the, 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 the Discord client, right? That's not something we can control. Um, and so once the bot has received our audio, right? Our audio data, it then runs it through the algorithm, right? Um, which, which which is called the VOSC API, and then it transcribe it tries to transcribe my uh, audio data into an actual text, right? And then it sends a text back, and so the, the bot uh, outputs it here, right? Um, this is how it works in a nutshell. So basically, if you speak for, let's say, in this case, I spoke for five seconds, five seconds and six hundred milliseconds, right? Uh, it has to transcribe. Uh, all of this, right? And so, um, how long does it actually take? So, what's the delay, right? So, the bot started listening to me at the mark of 40 seconds, right? By 45 seconds, uh, I was done talking and it received my data, right? So, for, for, for from 40 to 45, it was just me talking. There was there was no uh, AI thing going on, right? But then, from 45 to 48, once it received my data it ran the algorithm to to you i mean to you to transcribe my voice into text right so this process took about two and a half seconds right or three seconds right um which is fairly quickly right but not um but not phenomenal uh i i i run this service uh, i mean i ran this process on my local machine and it was much quicker and uh, the problem is heroku is a free service right so uh it's not prioritizing whatever you do on there right it it only it does things, you know, whenever resources are available, right? It's a shared uh, service. I mean, it's your private space, but it's not super, so super fast. It's just a single CPU, right? With just a little bit of RAM. Um, it's a very uh, lightweight machine, right? So if you want a higher performance, either get your own server, right? You can get one from, I think, $5 per month that already has um, like somewhat dedicated uh, power, right? Or you can just host it on your own Windows machine or your own Linux machine, depending on what you use, right? So this is how it works in a nutshell, right? And you can have multiple people in a channel speaking in parallel, right? And every person is a separate channel. So everyone um, will be transcribed individually, right? So it's not like a, a multiplex thing where everyone is just one single channel that on the side. So th this, this was a quick intro on how to set it up for non-developers, right? If you're a developer, uh, definitely go out and check uh, our Discord ears bot on Heroku, uh, on GitHub. We have a lot of sections, right? So Heroku is one of the one of the free ways to host it, right? Um, if you have other needs or requirements, right? You can use Docker, you can install it manually, right? There's a simple script. Um, for, uh, for Heroku, we used uh, the environment variables, right? Where you set up the Discord token. Um, you can also use a configuration file or a settings file, right? And you can also use a different kind of service, right? If you don't like VOSC, right? You can use uh, with AI, which is our default, um, which was a, our like default way of transcribing text for a very long time. Uh, but VOSC is 
a bit more accurate and a bit quicker, right? So that's why we make VASC the default one, the one that we use now. Uh, but if you still want to use with AI, you can set it up here. Um, you can also enable, uh, you can also enable um, Google Speech, right? Which is a premium service, which is paid. Um, so if you use this for, you know, uh, enterprise purposes, that's a really great uh, solution. You can try set up Google uh, Mozilla Deep Speech, right? But that was somewhat experimental. Uh, it doesn't really always work really well. Okay. Um, so the one that we use now, right? It only works for English, right? Um, but if you know some, the, I mean, if, if, you, if you can tweak this, right, if you can host it yourself um, or you can mess around with codes, right, you can go to uh, VASC API, right, and you can um, add any kind of language that you want, right. This is the this is the VASC API, right. This is the one that we use by default. They have a website. If you go to the website, there are models, right. So here you can actually uh, download the model that you use, that, that you want to use, right? And each model has a different size. The one that we use is 40 megabytes and it's pretty accurate, right? But they have, they have, uh, more heavy models, like up to 1.4 gigabytes, right? Uh, which may be like way more accurate. Um, but it really depends on, on your, on your, uh, on what you want to do with it, right? Um, so this is the English model. They have, um, the Indian, uh, Indian accent. Uh, English version, they have uh, the Chinese Mandarin, they have Russian, they have French, German, Spanish, Portuguese, and several other languages in here as well, right? So um, if you have a multicultural server or, you know, you speak a different uh, language, then you, you can set up a different model, right? Uh, setting up the model is really simple. Uh, it will be documented on uh, on our GitHub, right? There will be a short section on how you can change the language or add uh, other languages in here, right? And if you have other questions or inquiries, uh, you can join our uh, Discord community server, right? Or you can just shoot me an email and uh, I'll see what I can do for you, all right? So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope everything uh, was clear. Um, if anything doesn't work, make sure to repeat all the steps. It's a, it's a three-step process. That's really simple, right? Uh, but if you get stuck, just reach out to us, all right? So have a great day and uh, have fun.